<laughs> Welcome to our tiny garage show, the show inspired by the, the beauty of the garage and the very beautiful theater-like setting that is the garage. Um, as I said, this is our second weekend of shows. We had two last week and they were really fun and um, we're excited to share this with you tonight. Uh, when I first came home for the quarantine, I started doing my normal ballet classes and exercises in garage number three. Oh, okay. Some friends may not know, but I'm a ballet dancer in New York City Ballet. So, um, so when I came home and I was doing my ballet things in the garage, my mom thought it would be a nice idea to have some of the neighbors come and watch. And so uh, one morning they came over, they watched me do my ballet class. And to me, it feels very routine and not that exciting. But I know for many people, it is something that's beautiful and special. Um, so after that little mini show, um, my mom kept advertising the garage show to random neighbors. And so I felt compelled to make something that was a little more legitimate. So I hired my friend, Mary Margaret. <laughs> um, we went to the University of North Carolina School of the Arts together. And Mary Margaret's a pianist. Um, and I have really loved her work ever since I've known her. And uh, it's been a real joy to collaborate to create this show together. Um, tonight you'll see a mix of some classic compositions as well as some new works um, and even an improv number which if you haven't done so and if you feel inclined go ahead there's a little basket over there with like a little um, note cards you can write a suggestion for our improv dance but don't do a day at the beach or trash can because those were last time <laughs> yes. I did do an improv dance to trash cans. <laughs> to Bach. <laughs> to Bach. Um, yeah, so there's an improv basket over there. We also have um, a donation basket. If you have cash donations, you can make them there. We are giving half of the proceeds to a podcast called Ear Hustle, um, which I'll explain more about later. But um, we're doing that and also giving part of the proceeds to the COVID-19 response fund for Forsyth County. So keeping it a little local too. Well, enjoy the show, Yay. guys. in developing like a one-on-one -on -one relationship with a instructor who's usually like a lot older than you um, every week but it was very comfortable for me because I could read what it says on the page do it check off the boxes and then I mean literally get graded so you have a real sense of whether or not you're doing well um, and yeah I just never tried to write music I felt really awkward about it um, felt like I couldn't, it just wasn't something I could do. And knew a lot of really talented musicians, so I would compare myself and think like, I'll just never do that. Um, but in the past couple of years, felt like something inside of me um, 
Yeah, just rising up like, okay, I really need to not have fear of man. Like, it's actually for myself. I'm just going to enjoy this. Um, and then it's turned out to be so fruitful, like even getting to like share it on the New York City Ballet Instagram. Um, just like a tiny bit of music I wrote on a hard day. So I say that as an encouragement that like you can just write music and you don't have to think too hard about it and just enjoy it. So <laughs> that's my, my spiel. Um, but my two pieces tonight are untitled, so each evening I've requested that you ponder what they might be called. Um, so later, if you have any thoughts, come find me, and maybe I'll choose your name for my pieces. So, hope you enjoy. Some of them, when they get out of prison to it, shares their stories. Uh, 
Um, so that's the connection to Ear Hustle. And I got to know a few of these musicians from the prison last March and had some really fruitful conversations with them. Um, two other things, Silas Farley had a really, really big feature in the New York Times this week. He's retiring from New York City Ballet and taking a teaching position at SMU. Um, and he's the one who created this piece. And um, also the whole piece, Songs from the Spirit, can be found on the Metropolitan Museum of Arts website. So I highly recommend that you check that out. So here is He's Got the Whole World. He's got the whole world in his hand. He's got the whole wide world in his hand. He's got the whole world in his hand. He's got the whole world in his hand. He's got the wind and the rain in his hands. He's got the wind and the rain. In his hands, he's got the wind and the rain. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world. In his hands, he's got the whole wide world. In his hands, he's got the whole world. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the fish of the sea. In his hands. In his hands, he's got the fish of the sea. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world. In his hands, he's got the whole wide world. In his hands, he's got the whole world. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the sinner man. In his hands, he's got the sinner man. In his hands, he's got the sinner man. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. He's got you and me, brother. In his hands, he's got you and me, sister. In his hands, he's got you and me, brother, sister. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. He's got everybody here in his hands. He's got everybody here. the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole